Hello Peachies, welcome back to Dear Peachy. In our previous videos, we delved into the concepts of high visual weight and low visual weight visual types. It's worth noting that both of these types possess their own unique beauty that's equally captivating. The essence of low visual weight is often characterized by an ethereal and gentle presence. This delicate charm is most splendidly showcased through adept makeup choices, particularly embracing clean, nude makeup looks. In today's video, we're excited to present one of the renowned influencers, Feng Yo Li, from Xiao Hengshu. Among her array of looks, there's one that has amassed millions of views on the platform. Her fans have been absolutely captivated by the kind of look she effortlessly pulled off. It's like this perfect balance of simplicity and intricate detailing that just keeps everyone hooked. Without further ado, let's see how she achieved this look. Yo Li kicks off the tutorial with her base and contour already set. For foundation, she's opted for the Dior Forever Matte Foundation in the shade 0N. And when it comes to contouring, she's turning to a contour and highlighter palette from a Chinese brand called Timage. She moves to her brows by using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in medium brown with the eyebrow brush that comes along with it. Combining both shades of the brow powder, Yoli blends them together. She then follows the contours of her natural brows, crafting a straight brow with just a subtle arch. This technique imparts a gentle, organic curvature that beautifully enhances the eyes. However, if you're leaning towards a Korean-inspired aesthetic rather than the sea beauty approach, there's a slight shift. In this case, the head of the brows is uplifted. To achieve this, the emphasis is on avoiding heavy filling of the lower part at the front of the brows. Instead, the focus is redirected towards the middle or upper region. This technique can effectively prevent your brows from appearing lower on your face. For added brow definition, Yoli opts for the Barbie Liquid Brow Liner to trace her strokes. You can easily find a brow liner with a similar precise tip, or even just a standard tip, to achieve similar results. The key is to achieve those delicate, well-defined lines that give your brows the desired shape and prominence. Identify any sparse areas in your brows, and simply apply gentle strokes to subtly fill them in. To complete the process, use the tinted brow gel to create a lighter appearance, adding an element of softness to the overall look. Moving on to the eyes, Yoli opts for the 3C Smoother Eyeshadow Palette. To begin, she sweeps the light nude shade from the palette across her entire upper lid, creating a neutral base. Next, using the softest grayish top shade, she applies it to her crease, imparting depth and a subtle shadow effect to her eyes. Next, she introduces the brown shade. She places it on both the inner and outer corners of her eyes. This technique serves to intensify the gaze and create a captivating depth that draws attention to the eyes. Now, here's a clever tip for the eye look. Yoli picks up the light pink blush that she plans to use later and applies it along her waterline. This trick emulates the subtle rosiness of the skin around the eyes, resulting in an angelic and effortlessly natural appearance. She revisits the same brown shade and applies it to the lower outer corner of her eyes. This elongates her eyes and adds a touch of elongated allure. Switching to the reddish-brown shade, she then fills her inner corners. This technique imparts a sharpness and elongation to her eyes. Using the remaining powder, Yoli delicately traces the contour of her under-eye area, including the Aja cell. This strategic application helps widen the appearance of her eyes, contributing to a more expansive and inviting look. Using the pearlescent highlighter from the Timage palette, Yoli applies gentle dabs right in the center of her eyelid and inner corner. This technique effectively enhances the prominence of her eyes. The subtle touch of glow she adds to her eyes works like magic, elevating the entire look and creating a captivating allure. Lashes are the cherry on top for this whole look. Yoli shares that falsies with shorter ends at the front and those longer ones at the outer corners are your best friends here. Those extended lashes on the outer edges. They're like an instant eye makeover, giving you that kind of foxy, alluring gaze. Before you go ahead and apply those lashes, remember to give them a little curl. First, grab some glue and spread it on the lid of the case. Then, take the outermost piece of your falsies and dip it into the glue. Now, here's the trick, put the glue on the back of your falsies. After that, hold the falsies straight and dip them directly into the glue to make sure those stems get coated. This glue step ensures the stems are well covered, keeping those lashes in place beautifully. For Yoli, 
she prefers to places the outermost pieces of the falsies on top of her real lashes. Here's a crucial detail, Yoli actually didn't align the falsies directly with the shape of her outer corner. Instead, she positioned them slightly away from the outer corner to achieve that lifted effect for her eyes. If you take a close look, you'll notice a tiny triangular gap between her lash line and the falsies. That's why it's essential to curl your lashes before, so they melt seamlessly with the falsies. Now, grab the second outermost falsies and lay them right on top of your natural lashes. When it comes to the inner lash line, she switches it up. She places the falsies above her real lashes. So, you might need to flip the falsies over before dipping them in the glue. This way, the glue coats the top part of the falsies, ensuring a secure attachment. Slide the falsies onto your lashes, allowing any excess glue to coat your real lashes as well. This helps provide better support for your falsies and ensures a snug fit. If the foxy-like look isn't your jam, you can easily adjust the position of the falsies towards the inner corner. Now, grab a liquid liner and fill in the upper lash line, inner corner, and that triangular gap at the outer corner. Yoli mentions that she's going for a Korean-inspired look, so she's giving the lower lashes routine a pass for a cleaner finish. Using the same blush she used earlier, she applies it right below her eyes, achieving that natural flushed appearance. Moving on to the lips, Yoli uses a low-saturated peach tone lipstick from the brand Into You. And don't forget this little trick, gently dab a bit on the filtrum to maintain that natural vibe. It's the perfect finishing touch for your lips, giving them a soft and effortlessly charming look. Yoli acknowledges that many of you might have wondered if these lashes could be too much, and might appear artificial. However, she assures you that the effect is surprisingly understated, they merely add length and extend the eyes in a subtle manner. She is also wearing the Tea Garden Bambi series colored lenses in the shade Vintage Grey. It's another piece of the puzzle that adds to the overall charm of the look. And there you have it. A totally wearable soft foxy look that works wonders, especially for those with lower visual weight. It's all about that gentle allure that complements your features beautifully. Do you love this look like we do? We hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye.